here's three mistakes that you need to avoid because they will cost you money when you go to sell your house. The number one mistake is leaving unfinished construction projects or renovation projects unfinished. This is the worst. You could spend all kinds of money. You could have the best plans, the best vision for what that project was gonna look like. You could have money already invested and in the eyes of the buyer, that unfinished project could be making your house appear worth less money than it would have been if you would have never started the project in the first place. This could be trim on your brand new windows. This could be trim or baseboards on your new floors. This could be a deck that you didn't get around to adding on the house. That's something the new construction builders are famous for doing. Customer doesn't want a deck. Uh, the builder puts the back door there anyways and they board it off so that nobody walks out and falls you know, because there's no deck there. That works on the new construction market. It does not work on the existing real estate market. So if you bought one of those houses with intentions of putting on a deck yourself, you're gonna have to do that if you wanna get the top dollar for some of the other improvements that you've probably made in the house, which is why you didn't get around to it. The second thing is bad lighting. That's a mistake you've gotta avoid. This is an easy one. There's no excuse for this whatsoever. Open all the windows, open the curtains, tilt the blinds, open the blinds, turn on all the lights in the house, and make sure those light bulbs match. Don't do like a soft white tone with a fluorescent bulb where one looks kind of whitish blue and one looks yellow, especially in the same room, of course, where they're gonna appear in the same photo. Sometimes I see this even in the same light fixture where there's three bulbs and none of the three bulbs match. It just looks terrible. Even if the buyer doesn't notice that level of detail, subconsciously they're gonna notice and it's gonna hurt the value of your home. And it's an easy fix. The third thing is clutter. Clutter could be anything from too much furniture down to you know the remote control left out on the coffee table in some cases. Clutter in photos is gonna affect things a lot differently than clutter in person. If somebody's coming to look at your house, the remote control on the table is not gonna hurt things. Coffee cup left on the coffee table in a real estate photo, that's gonna to totally throw off because buyers can't focus on that many things at one time in a two-dimensional photo and you are drawing attention away from the features of the room or the size of the room, you want them to focus on what they're buying, not your coffee cup, not your remote control or you know whatever book you might have been reading that's still laying on the couch or something like that. Not your kitchen toaster or whatever you have on the countertop. So those are the three mistakes you wanna avoid. There are easy solutions, there are practical solutions to all three of those problems, if you find yourself up against a point where you know, you're know you not sure how to avoid them, reach out to myself or an agent, somebody in the business. We, you know, we've all got systems that we can use to help you get past these issues and avoid these mistakes so you can make more money from the sale of your house.